Hey buddies, some nuts guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. Today I'm going to show you how to download the RL Craft beta test versions and how to install them or how to create a profile on cursor for for them so that you can play them yourself. Now bear in mind that these will be test builds, they will be broken. Do not use old worlds with them and the change logs aren't final. If you want to provide feedback, Shivaxi has a section for that within his Discord and there's also a bug report section as well now to get access to these you will need to join our shivaxi's discord however i've also followed this channel within my own discord server as well so future updates as of 6th of february will be available within my discord as well as shivaxi's discord however i highly recommend joining shivaxi's discord if you're interested in rl craft that's where you can have discussions it's where you can provide feedback it's where you're going to get all the up-to-date information Highly recommend joining Shivaxi's Discord. I will provide links to this specific channel, the RL Dev Updates, within Shivaxi's Discord in the description below. And I will also provide a link to that section within my own Discord as well. If you're joining Shivaxi's Discord, prior to being able to access these channels, you will need to react to some uh, a message within the welcome channel, which you should be able to find quite easily once you click the link in the description that takes you to his Discord. You won't be able to see this unless you're already part of Shivaxi's Discord or until you react to one of the welcome messages that you'll see, which should be quite available, easy to see. Okay, so how do you do this? Firstly, you're going to click this link here, and this will open up a page that looks like this. It's going to be a Google Drive download. Click download, and it will ask you if you want to, to do it, download it anyway. Download it, of course. And once that's done, you're going to head over to CurseForge. In the top right here, you'll see custom, create custom profile. You're going to click that and click import a previously created profile. You'll then simply import what you've just downloaded and it will do the work for you. You see then this profile has been created, it's copying all the files and all the overrides, all the et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now you can pretty much just go straight from here. Once this is done, you can open the profile and play it as if you would any of your other profiles within CurseForge. Once that's completed, you just click into it and press play. You may want to add Optifine, you may want to add your shaders, you may want to do uh, any manipulation that you would otherwise do to your RLCraft profiles, which you can do as normal from here. I'd recommend double checking your RAM settings. So if you're in your uh, profile that you've just installed, you hit the triple icon here, go down to profile options, and untick use system memory settings. Now it seems like this is coming in at four, uh, 4,000 megabytes by default, four gigabytes, which is the recommended settings. However, if not, you'll just wanna crank that up to 4,000. However, if you're running shaders, you might want to crank this up to 6,000 or perhaps 8,000, depending on how graphically intense your shaders are. You'll know it all worked out if when you get to the main menu in the bottom left here, it says RLCraft 292 test build 5 or whatever test build you're trying to download at the time. And then you'll be ready to rock and roll. If this was helpful for you, leave a like. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer. And if you want to see any of the other RLCraft content we're doing, we've got over 100 guides. We got playthroughs. And we also do some variety stuff as well. Consider leaving a subscription. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care. Some nuts guy. Grab gaming by the nuts.